Hey, I'm your comics columnist Colin, and this is Colin's Comics Column. I said I was going to talk about the uh, Supergirl Flash crossover, and then I watched it and I kind of regretted it, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. I'm just going to push through. Uh, you guys know I love Supergirl. I keep talking about her. And I love The Flash, and I love both of those shows. They're my two favorite shows on TV. And I was really excited for the musical episode uh, because the ca there are so many uh, cast members of the DC superhero shows that are great singers. Joe West was in Rent, uh, Wynn is in the last five years, and Newsies. Both Supergirl and The Flash were on Glee. In a musical, the music is supposed to like kind of drive the plot and give you insight to the characters, and there was all this plot being driven without any music, which felt a little off or underwhelming for me. Overall, great points for effort. Loved the Rachel Bloom song. Story could have been so much better, or more there, or more cohesive. Like, I, when they wrote, Darren Chris fades out of the shot and handed it to someone else, and they were like, oh yeah, that could work? Like, how did that happen? How did they go from, yeah, no, we just, no conclusion. There isn't a conclusion, there's a, a song from La La Land. <sighs> yeah, I should, probably should have just talked about Iron Fist. <laughs>